Hello preschoolers. I am here today to plant some seeds. I have a bunch of different kinds of seeds right here. And then I have some empty egg cartons that I filled up with a little soil. I thought I'd do that first since maybe you wouldn't really want to watch me sit here and fill these all up with soil. And then I have some other things in here that I'm going to talk about in just a minute. But let's decide what seeds we want to plant first. All right, first, I want to plant some seeds from fruit and vegetables that I ate inside my house. So these are some lemon and orange seeds and some Meyer lemon seeds. And then these little flat ones are pepper seeds. So let's plant some of those. Let's see if we can draw, if we can grow a lemon tree or some pepper plants. So what I'm gonna do is poke just a little hole in the soil, a little hole just with my pinky finger, and then I'm gonna put a seed in. I'm gonna put one of the lemon seeds, one of the Myers lemon seeds, and one of the orange seeds in there and then I'm going to carefully cover it up with soil. Cover it up with the soil. All right, then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Poke a little hole, poke a little hole, poke a little hole. And in this row, I'm gonna do pepper seeds, but the pepper seeds are pretty small. So I'm gonna put two or three pepper seeds in each hole. I'm gonna put two or three pepper seeds in each hole that way, if one seed doesn't grow, maybe a different one will. So if you have a few seeds in the same hole, that gives it a chance for at least one of them to grow in case one doesn't get enough nutrients or water or sunlight. All right, so we've planted those. I'm gonna set these seeds aside. And then I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about this. So for this one, I do have soil in it, but then I thought maybe we would want to do a little bit of an experiment. So I'm experimenting with three different things that I've heard can help plants grow. One of them, it's a little weird, but do you see in here? This is human hair. I've heard adding human hair to soil can help plants grow. So this is just some of my hair that came out in my brush. Ooh, so I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna put some soil on top of it and then plant some seeds and see how they grow. Another thing I heard that you can grow seeds in is tea bags. So I have four different tea bags here. I think I'm going to put some soil over two of them and then just poke holes in the other two and try to plant the seeds right in them. And then these four are eggshells. I'm gonna put some soil in the eggshells. Those are all things that are supposed to help plants grow. So I thought I would test it out and see if they would help these plants grow better than just growing in soil. So I have the two with the hair that I'm putting soil on top of, and then I'm gonna put soil on top of two of the tea bags. The other two I'm gonna plant just right in the tea bag, and then I'm gonna put soil into the four eggshells. And we'll see if the eggshells will kind of help feed the plant and help it grow. We'll see, we'll see if this works out. I like to be a scientist and explore and test some theories about different ways to get plants to grow. All right, so we have that ready now. So for the tea bag, I have two little pepper seeds that fell in there, but for the tea bag, I'm just gonna rip a little tiny hole in it little tiny hole in the tea bags in these two tea bags and then I'm going to plant two seeds in them how about we try some how about some basil seeds how about we plant the herb basil I really like basil in my salads, on pizza, with pasta. I'm gonna sprinkle a few basil seeds 
into the hole of the tea bag. And then after we're all done planting, we will of course water them. Let me show you what the basil seeds look like. Are those seeds large or small? Yeah, they're pretty small. I think I will do basil over here in the other two tea bag spots as well, but the ones that are covered, the tea bags that are covered with soil. Now for basil, the seeds are so tiny that you just need to kind of brush the soil over a little and then just cover it up. They're so tiny, it does not take much. So now the tea leaves all have basil in them. Now someone wanted me to plant flowers. Here's some marigolds. Somebody wanted me to play, plant marigolds and purple flowers. Here's some lavender. So let's plant some marigolds and some lavender. For the lavender seeds, we will put the lavender seeds here in one of the ones that had hair in it. And then here, in one of the eggshells. The lavender seeds are pretty tiny too, so that means I will sprinkle a few, a few lavender seeds in each hole. Let me show you how small the lavender seeds are. There's a little dirt in there too. They're very tiny, you can see that. So, a few lavender seeds in the one with the hair and a few lavender seeds in the one in one of the ones in the eggshell, and then you just carefully cover it up. Let's put marigolds in all the other eggshell ones, and we'll see if it helps them grow. Again, I just use my finger, poke a little hole, poke a little hole, poke a little hole. And drop some marigold seeds in, and then cover them up, and cover them up. Cover them up. Now, let's see about putting marigolds over here as well. Marigolds are really pretty, and sometimes some rabbits don't like the smell of marigolds, so sometimes it's good to have some marigolds by your other plants, because it will keep the rabbits from co coming over and trying to eat your plants. All right, so we have marigolds. We have lavender, we have basil planted. We have so many things planted so far. Let's move on to tomatoes. Let's plant some tomato seeds. Let's do the same thing, a little hole, a little hole, a little hole. Now another way that you can plant tomatoes is from a tomato slice. A whole tomato, if you take a slice of it and then you plant that in soil, that can grow some tomatoes too. Cover up those seeds, cover them up, cover them up. We're just gonna do tomatoes and the whole rest of this tray because tomatoes are delicious. Cover them up, cover them up. All right, all the seeds are covered up. This tray is done. I'm going to move on to the other tray. For the other tray, I'm going to plant some butternut squash, some heirloom African horned melon. I'm going to plant some lettuce. I remember somebody wanted me to plant some lettuce. I'm going to plant lettuce. I'm going to plant some bok choy, which is kind of a type of lettuce as well. I'm going to plant green beans. Onions and carrots. 